Welcome to today's three print. Um, let's talk about the upcoming move, what's going to happen with the channel, and I've also got a few prints to show you. So stay tuned. I'm not going to make this just a move update. I'm also going to show you some prints, so it'll be a more interesting video. But we are getting to that point where real-time content for me is going to become more difficult. Um, next Friday is the day I'm supposed to leave here. So that is, well, today is Monday. So not this Friday, but next Friday. You'll probably be getting this video on Wednesday. I would still like to do one live stream before I leave if time permits I have the Alpha Wise U30 Pro I would like to do that unboxing I'm going to wait until I'm finished packing and if it looks like I have enough space on a bus to put that printer on there assembled then um, I'll, tr I'll try to do a live stream if not it'll be the first live stream I do on the other side when I get to where I'm going I also have um, just arrived today or yesterday the new Creality um, Ender 5 Plus so that will be also one of the first live streams on the other side when I get where I'm going. Um, it, I'm currently scheduled to tomorrow night go down and get the pickup truck and um, bring that back home. I'm going to leave my minivan there and I should have the part to fix the minivan. Um, one of the issues. We're going to bypass the other issue. Uh, with a cooling fan and I'm going to bring the pickup truck home. When I bring the pickup truck home I'll be able to empty it and begin filling it with stuff that's going to go in the pickup truck. For example, the screens, computers, etc. They're going to go in the pickup truck. No, um, it is not a point in time. Quiet Alexa. <laughs> um, then I have to the next day, so this would be um, Wednesday, um, when I would normally do a live stream, I am going to drive that pickup truck back down to New Jersey with the trailer to get the five tires put on the trailer, the four for the trailer plus the spare. I, I did order a spare rim, so I'll have a spare tire for the trailer. I'm getting load range D tires, which will give me a, a lot better peace of mind that the trailer can handle the load and distance we're going to go. And then I have to drive that trailer back home here, park it in the driveway, so that we can then begin loading that trailer. I couldn't load the trailer until after I got the tires taken care of. And I couldn't get the tires taken care of until I got the pickup truck back, and I'm not getting the pickup truck back from tomorrow. Oh, and I have to go to the dentist tomorrow to get her to fix whatever she did to that tooth so that I can get this pain to go away. It's been driving me crazy. I'm eating Advil and Tylenol like candy. Then, on... Um... Sunday, the 11th, I have to drive the pickup truck back down to New Jersey, swap vehicles with him, give him the pickup truck, I'll explain why in a moment, and then I have to bring the minivan back home because on Monday the 12th, the transporter will be here to ship the Leaf and the minivan out to New Mexico. Um, so I have to have both those vehicles back here for that. My friend Sean will be here that Monday, so he'll be able to give me a ride back and forth since the truck is not going to be able to get down my street. They're going to have to, um, we're going to have to meet at like the local Walmart park and shop, park and lot. lot. Um, then on the 15th, he will drive the pickup truck here to my house. He will spend the night here. We will close on the sale of this house at that time. And then on the morning of the 16th, we will wake up and hitch up the trailer and begin the drive out to New Mexico and <laughs> knock on stainless steel. Let's hope everything goes well. <laughs> it's going to be a ride. <laughs> um, we're supposed to close on the new house this Wednesday. It looks like we're still in line to do that. The, I believe title commitment is ready and insurance is ready, title insurance. And um, they said they're just waiting on the seller to sign off on the title. And that should be it. Um, so far, it doesn't look like there's any surprise liens or anything like that. The real estate agent, Jonice, she's wonderful. Um, she is going to be 
going out to the house tomorrow to verify nothing has changed, nothing weird has happened, make sure everything's still cool, everything's okay. She's also going to get me the names of the three utility companies so that I can begin the process of um, setting up inspection dates and turn-ons for utilities. I'm hoping I can at least have electricity turned on when I arrive. I'm probably not going to be able to have water or gas turned on because those are probably going to be requiring a inspection and pressure test. Um, which is smart. Last thing I want to do is have somebody turn on water and then I get there to a flooded home and a $3,000 water bill. <laughs> that would suck. But um, electricity should be safe. So I can at least have power when I get there. Um, that's basically it. I am running out of space. All the printers are loaded. I have, um, I think, four printers left to put in and I have already have space for that so that won't be a problem. I have the Goliath... Um, the two CRXs and Neros to load still, um, plus the U30 Pro that has to go out still. Um, but otherwise, all the printers are on the bus. I don't think I have any more. We'll obviously run around and verify. I'm going to have to leave a lot behind. There's, um, I'm just going to run out of space. There's just a limit to how much I can put in there. I kind of wish I could take some stuff off to put different stuff on, but that stuff there's no way for me to find it and I don't have the manpower to get it off and put it on in time but you know hey, crap happens you deal with it you move on um, now you're gonna see a bunch of videos they're gonna have a little message in the beginning you know warning you of a temporal incursion here um, because these are gonna be videos that I've already recorded over the last six months um, every time I've done a live stream, you know, it's a six to eight hour live stream, I've also recorded smaller clips on the other camera here to make a more concise, you know, eight to 15 minute video for each of these printers. So um, those are the videos you're going to be seeing when I am unable to make new videos. Um, in theory, in three weeks, I'll be set up at the new place, but I don't know how long it's going to take me to get everything I need done there in order to get back to recording. Live stream should be pretty easy. I should be able to set up a couple of tables and get a couple printers going as long as I have electricity um, and get some basic content going. But um, to really get going, I'm going to be quite busy. Um, permits, requirements, inspections, everything. You know, I'm buying a site unseen, as is, where is, foreclosed home, 2,000 miles away. <laughs> so there's bound to be some issues that I'm going to have to work through before I could be fully operational. I don't even know what kind of power I'm gonna have there. Is it gonna be 50 amp power, 100 amp power? Two, I know it's not gonna be 200 amp. If you have natural gas, you're not gonna have 200 amp service, not in a, not in a manufactured home. Um, and of course, winter's coming. I've gotta prepare for that. Um, so I have a minimum of 15 videos already uploaded, descriptions done, everything. They're all printer videos. I'm going to try to make a few more of these kind of videos. Something for you guys to watch besides just printers. You know, but there's a limit. I'm gonna have two videos with um, the monthly filament boxes and I should have at least two more videos um, of prints that I'm going to show you guys that I've made. Um, the, um, now of course there will also be a couple of move bus vlog type videos mixed in there as well, um, possibly even a live one here or there, and um, on arrival, stuff like that, but by and large it's going to be difficult for me to make a continuous stream of new content until I'm established at the new location, so I have prepared a bunch of videos for this. So I hope you guys don't mind a whole bunch of printer videos. <laughs> Um, I, I hope that's okay. I hope that works out. I mean, my channel is not large enough to have enough inertia to survive without content. I have to continuously publish content or my income, as you know, my income from affiliate links and whatnot drops dramatically. Um, I miss one video and my income drops 10%. <laughs> um, because, you know, if people aren't watching the videos, they aren't thinking, oh, wait a minute, let me click on that link so I can use it. And, you know, when they go and buy their stuff from Amazon and whatnot, and, and so I have to continuously publish videos or it suffers big time. Um, well, enough of that. Um, I'll probably have one more bus update video right before we leave, showing you guys the final packing and taking care of everything, um, getting the tires changed, all that. I'll make one more little compilation video. We'll call that Bus Update 5. After that, 
no more bus updates. It's move update. We are going. <laughs> and um, I want to give a, a huge shout out. Let me make sure I get the name right. And I mean a huge, huge shout out. The kind of generosity this person expressed is ridiculous. It's it's incredible. It's very humbling. But um, Michael Rumsey sent me this. This is a Canon 7D. It's the first version, not a Mark II or Mark III. It's the Mark I. Um, it's better in some ways than my 5D Mark II, worse in some ways than my 5D Mark II. But what I can say is that it's a $600 camera. And he sent this to me. This is one of his extras and spares. And he told me my money was no good with him, that he would send me one. And that, <laughs> that kind of generosity is, is amazing. That's, that's not something that you normally expect. I really appreciate it a lot. I already slapped my 24 millimeter STM lens on there. That's why that lens is so tiny. It's wonderful for traveling. And it's a cheap lens too. Um, he sent me the camera and the grip with the two batteries and a charger. That is just, that's incredibly, incredibly generous. Thank you very much, Michael Rumsey, for that. I appreciate that. <laughs> almost tearing up. <laughs> it really is very humbling and very appreciated. Um, Prince, let's get to something a little more um, upbeat. <laughs> um, that's pretty upbeat. That's amazing. Um, I have my little ham radios. We're going to be using these on the trip so we can talk between the bus and the pickup truck and three Yankee Echo Zulu. Um, so I found this great little mount. I stripped off the GoPro portion of it. So it's just a straight mount. And this was printed on the King Rune. Um, nice little printer, by the way, 140 bucks. I mean, Jesus, it's a nice little printer for that price. Anyway, this is in everyone marble filament. I stripped off the GoPro mount on the back and just kept it a simple mount like that. It's got a little hook on the bottom here to grab the clip. So there's a step there, so print it upside down so the step prints cleanly. And this just slaps right in there and locks in place, it's loose, so it's not hard to put in or take off. And I'll just get some VHB tape right on the dash. On the bus, I don't even need it, because on the bus I have the big mirror up top so you can see the kids in the back. Well, these snap right over that mirror nice and easy. So, But in the pickup truck, they don't have a mount, so I'll put that on the dash and then there you go, my Falfang. UV5R radio snap right into that. That's pretty darn cool. Um, I don't remember who made this. I will post a link down below. I'm sorry for not being able to mention that. I don't even have the time to go look it up right now. I just I'll have to look it up later. But a very nice little mount. And then the other thing I got is um, my sister wanted the share light switch cover from her room. And so she had Anthony remove it for her. And I was like, what did you put in its place? It's like, well, nothing. I was like, Michelle, you can't leave a bare electrical thing sitting there exposed. <laughs> I was like, a family's moving in here with a kid. If she sticks her finger in there. <laughs> I was like, you got to replace it with something. She's like, but I want the cover. I was like, that's fine. You just got to tell me. <laughs> so I went on Thingiverse and typed in light switch cover. And, the, and on the first page, a frozen one popped up. So I was like, I'm doing that. <laughs> So I modified it by putting a, a cutout in the back so that it'll actually sit against the wall. And um, it was the um, this was done on the uh, which printer did this? Um, I don't remember which printer did this. It's either the King Rune or the A5S. One of those two. Those are the only two operational printers I have going right now. And the A5S is about to be taken apart um, to be packed. But it's really cool because the color change in the Everyone um, Glitter Rainbow Filament um, occurred perfectly. And you can see it's purple, but the top layer is red. That's 
awesome. Just pure luck that that happened. And um, I planned to hang around and wait for that layer to a stop, make sure it actually changed color, but I forgot. <laughs> I woke up the next morning to that, you know, good luck, you know, color change. So that's, that's nice. So I'll slap that on there just so that there is a light cover on there. And um, that's pretty cool. And that's it. I will make a couple of more videos so you guys have more stuff to watch. If you have any questions, ask below by all means. Um, I'm not going to post a live itinerary of my travels. Um, when I move, they will be time delayed by one day. Um, because the last thing I want is people knowing exactly where I'm going to be and then I lose half of my possessions when they decide to rob me. <laughs> that does happen. That has happened. And I am literally going to have every possession I own, like literally everything I own, will be in those two vehicles. So I don't want nothing bad to happen. <laughs> um, but I will make little video clips, post little updates, um, keep you guys informed what's going on. I'm going to try to record a time lapse of the entire trip as well on day two. When, ooh. I stop in Arkansas. I am going to possibly attempt to run a live stream, give you guys a little Q and A, just to give you guys a little bit of stuff. That would be Saturday evening on the seventeenth. Um, so we'll see how tired I am, how that works out, whether I have a good internet connection. I'm bringing my own internet connection with me, but of course I have to have an actual connection to be able to use it. And so if there's no cellular connection that won't work so that's it i will provide links down below for the frozen cover and i'll probably post a remix um just make sure if you're using simplify 3d you turn off intelligent bridging a bridge that big going straight across will most likely fail you want the bridging to be 45 degrees so it starts at a corner and goes dit, 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 dit for the bridging because the corner will support the bridge as it gets wider and wider and wider and any properly tuned printer should be able to bridge that gigantic bridge no problem. Uh, just make sure the um, if you do your own cutout with a design like this, make sure you have at least three or four layers um, before you begin the cutout or you won't have anything to hold the cutout up. Um, so you want at least uh, 0.8 millimeters of thickness there. But otherwise, that should be pretty neat. I'll, try to remember to take a picture after I stick this on the wall so people can see what it looks like. It's, it's cute. There's another close-up of it for you. And here's the mount. Or the Balfang U5R. It just pops, nice loose fit, just pops right in there. I printed this one as well as a visor clip, but I kept getting a layer shift at that height, I think because this is a tiny um, connection to the bed I think this piece here is actually moving or something and it's colliding and causing a layer shift or there's a flaw in the model I'm not sure but also it's just too tight I mean it works it works very well the fit is very good but you're never going to get this it's, it is loosening up though so maybe just doing this a dozen times will loosen it up but otherwise it was too tight you're just gonna pull the whole thing right off the visor so I want to make that a looser fit like this so basically put these clips on this bracket because this bracket has a nice slip in fit slip out real super super easy and you can see it jiggles a little bit you can hear it but you want that little tiny bit of play just enough to hold it in place but super super, super easy to take it on and off you know you just bend a clip and you're on and off super super easy so i'll post a link to this one as well so if you guys want to play with that go from there that's it I will the next video you see after this one will be one of the pre-recorded videos and then the next video after that should either be a live stream if I'm done packing and there's nothing else I need to do or if that's just not practical then it'll be another video of course um, maybe the first night at the first hotel I'll process the bus update 5 videos on a laptop and um, go from there. We'll, we'll see how it works. Uh, that's it. You guys have a great day. I'm rambling on at this point. <laughs> I'm scared shitless and excited like crazy because it's new, it's scary, it's risky as hell. I mean, 
so much can go wrong, but so much can go right too. So we shall see. I will see you guys on the other side.